Hello guys and welcome back to I Never Knew That. So if you watched last week's video, you will know that today we are going to be talking about the Weimar Republic. So the Weimar Republic is the former German Republic from 1918 to 1933. It was called the Weimar Republic because its first constitutional assembly was held in the city of Weimar. The Republic was commonly called Germany until around 1930 when people began calling it the Weimar Republic more frequently. In 1933, Adolf Hitler was appointed as Chancellor and the Nazi party held two out of ten seats in the cabinet. A few months after Hitler was appointed, the Reichstag Fire Decree and the Enabling Act of 1933 were passed, giving more power to the Chancellor, who was Hitler at the time, and removing many liberties of the German people. After this happened, the Republic ended and a single state dictatorship was founded in its place, thus beginning the Nazi dictatorship over Germany. Hitler used the term Republic of Weimar for the first time in a speech for the National German Socialist Workers Party, and a few weeks later, in 1929, he used the term again in a newspaper. This is pretty much where the term started becoming used publicly. The official coat of arms of the Weimar Republic is an eagle with its head to the right and its ink spread out. The eagle is black on a yellow background with a red beak and claws. This is the color of the German flag, which is black, red, and yellow. These same colors have been used by the Weimar Republic and the subsequent Germany since 1778. The coat of arms is designed by Emil Do Epler, who is a German illustrator a decorative artist and an art teacher. His father was Karl Emil de Uppler, and he had been hired to create a Viking costume for a play. In his costumes, he used a helmet with horns out of it, and he has been credited as starting the myth that Vikings had horns on their helmet. From 1919 to 1923, the Weimar Republic was really struggling economically and in the society because of the aftermath of World War I. There is an extreme food shortage up until 1923, and this was prolonged for over a decade by rash decisions made by the German government. In 1922, the average German food consumption was half of what it had been before World War I. And even after the Treaty of Versailles, the German condition had barely improved and the public was extremely dissatisfied with the government. Then, in 1923, the economy became hyperinflated due to the government simply printing new currency to pay off debts from World War I. This led to strikes all across the nation, which lasted for eight months, further damaging the economy and society. The inflation was so bad that a loaf of bread, which had been priced at one mark in 1919, was priced at 1 billion marks in 1923. All the workers on strike were paid benefits by the government, and to afford this, the government just printed more currency, which caused the inflation to get even worse. In 1914, a US dollar was equal to 4.2 German marks. By 1923, the worst year of the inflation, one US dollar was equal to 1 million German marks. From 1924 to 1929, the Weimar Republic went through what was known as the Golden Era. During this time, the economy was rebuilt, civil unrest was greatly decreased, and political turmoil was calmed. A permanent currency was also introduced, and this led to a much improved view of the economy. During the time of the hyperinflation, all the workers would do at night is they would spend all the money they had made during the day, because they knew that the next day, every all their money would be worthless by them. So, in the Golden Era, all the officials called for a change in the culture and society of Germany. Theaters and music became much more popular, the culture became much more modern, and the military was greatly improved. Then again, in 1929, the American Great Depression began, and it started affecting the German economy in 1930. In 1930, the German economy crashed again, partially due to the American Great Depression, and also partially due to the Austrian bank going bankrupt. Then, in September of 1930, the Nazi party became elected as the governing party of Germany. This caused Parliament to become completely disabled, and after Hitler was sworn in in 1933 as Chancellor, the Weimar Republic began to crumble and the German Empire started taking over. This continued throughout World War II, and after World War II, the German Empire was almost completely destroyed and was then reorganized into the modern states of Germany. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about the Weimar Republic. And as you know, at the end of our videos, we draw a new topic. So, our new topic is going to be... The 1960 U-2 incident and the U-2 aircraft. Okay, I'm very excited for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. 
and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.